Hey everybody, we're back for another Regulator Talk podcast on the day that Red Dead Redemption 2 has dropped. No story spoilers, none of that. I'm only here for the views. Actually, we're only an hour and 17 minutes away from the game, so we haven't touched it, but I have seen a lot of gameplay about it, and uh, we're going to dive deep into our thoughts about this game, the multiplayer to come, uh, why it should be on PC and how it's not is very sad, um, but yeah. I am my two friends joined here today, Goof and Viv. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. I'm very excited. Are you, Are you sure? This. You you don't seem. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. You, you you're doing right. good, bro. You kind of kind of got shaken up there. Oof. Yeah, I was I was focused on uh finding out the name of a novel and then also finding out the, the name of a word. No, it. it was something. It was more than that. It was complicated. But um, I figured it out. I didn't figure out the second thing but i forgot the first thing so it's good education is important because if not we'd be stuck in uh the westerns good good segue how about you viv you you doing good maybe i don't know uh i don't know i sure am i remember uh it was early this morning goof was still in school viv she don't go to school her brother doesn't either apparently i was like hey come watch this uh red dead footage and uh it was just a bunch of gameplay stuff and like a guy robbing a train and stuff like that that was really cool um it's just in the game like it's bolt not a story fa- mission bolt, which i thought was cool bolt fangirled over a fishing yeah bolt. and your brother like jumped in the room hopped in the discord and he was like what we, we can go fishing i was like we can go fishing yeah and then george was like fishing. i'm gonna be the fishing god we can go fishing in this game and i'm like my left pinky great. toe really itches and i need to itch it very bad so, people are calling this that this might be not only the best looking Rockstar game ever, the apparently I'm not I don't I don't believe this, but they say that the map is bigger than GTA Five. I don't know if you can mm-hmm. confirm that from what you've read. I don't so, believe that because no, I think I, it just feels bigger because you're not in a car or plane no, or boats, I, you know. I have looked at it and wow, you know the the map of GTA Five is. Yeah. It's basically Los Angeles and the surrounding area. Mm-hmm. Um, well, G, uh, Red Redemption Two is basically it's it follows the Dutch Dutch Vanderlyn gang, and the map is based off of their um, path of where they run uh, when they run away from the law. So it starts east and it goes westward, and you know even southern, even south. Basically, it's going to be a couple states big. Uh, they've confirmed Louisiana is in it. Um, I think New Austin is in it. Um, New Orleans. You know, Colorado. Is that in the game? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it is. It's oh, called um, St. Louis, I think. I don't know somebody that's some gay like that. People like that make gay names for it. Mm-hmm. But it, but it's going to be a couple... Um, I don't know if it's going to be com- the complete states. I doubt, I doubt it. But basically, um, you know, since it does follow the, like, death of the West... It's gonna basically it's gonna have to be in the west, but it's it's gonna start eastward and kind of move westward. Like if you've ever seen, um, I think the furthest west east they'll go. Have you ever seen uh, what's it called? Um, you can take Hateful it. Eight. What? If you ever seen Hateful Eight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like there. Is that, that take place? is that it's um, like a, the Adam Sandler like, movie? No, that's the Quentin Tarantino movie. Okay, that's the Quentin Tarantino Sam- movie. But then there was the. Uh, what was it called? Oh my gosh, what was it? The Despicable Six or something like that? Adam Sandler. Oh, okay, hold on. Six, I, man, I'll find it. I'll find Are it. Are we just, is the, is, the theme, is the theme tonight finding things it's you cowboy, don't remember? Cowboys. Ridiculous Six. So ridiculous. It, was the, it was the Hateful Eight and the Ridiculous Six. Yeah, here we go. Uh, but, um, yeah, I never saw Hateful Eight. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's a good movie. Uh, but any, any um, Quentin Tarantino movie, right? Yeah, he makes really good Quentin. He makes yeah. really good. Movies. There's someone out there already. They're like, screw this. You know, like, no way. Um, yeah. Do you think but, uh, you think people will like Arthur Morgan more than uh, uh, John Marston? John, Mar- John well, Marston is an icon. Like he is. John Marston is an icon um, because he was. Um, he and his family are kind of like the embodiment of. The wild, and wild outlaw West. who just does not give a shit. Yeah, like 
I think so. The conflict of this movie, of the book, or the fucking the, the game. The game, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Why it's, I'm wow. stuck on books, but the conflict of the of the uh, game is basically. I'm thinking it's it's more of they're fighting each other and the reality that the idea of the wild west and the outlaw life is dying, mm-hmm. um, but they're not willing to put that behind. They're not willing to come to terms that everything is modernizing and cities are being built. They want it to stay the way that it always has been. Yeah. Um, and this is, it's in the 1890s, which is uh, about, what was that? Like 20, uh, not 20, not so quite, not quite 20 years um, before, but like, like maybe 15 years before um, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. Which Red was a very good movie. Was, or, uh, the movie. Oh, what a great oh, movie. Damn, it. God damn it. It's yeah, a game. Red Dead was in 1911. It was in pretty, 1911, pretty yeah. Gun, by the way. Uh, in 1899 is when this game kicks off. Um, yeah. So earlier, and uh, without a doubt, but, we'll probably see John Marston or something. So far... That, yeah. that part's in, like, his area. John, like John Marston is he's part yeah. of the, the gang, and I'm yeah. pretty sure it's going to come... Because I think the doesn't the Dutch Vandalin gang, don't they, like, abandon John? And that's why he hates them, and that's why he has this, like, kind of vendetta for them, and he just I does think, not like them. I yeah. think he abandoned... He abandoned Jack. Um, they abandoned Jack, Abigail, and John. Yeah. Um, but it's really cool because I think we might get to see how he got the, his scar. Because if you've seen the uh, gameplay trailers and everything, John Marston has stitches still in his wound. Hmm. So maybe we'll... I mean, I think they've probably already talked about that, but I completely forgot about it. But I, there's one thing I do want. And I want the idea... I want this like to be a DLC or something. Basically, I want like a DLC or... Not, I don't think another game. It's a good segue. Yeah. Um, to explain the Dutch Vandalin gang and how they came to be, because yeah. this this book or oh my fuck this a, game what a great book <laughs> this game so Reddit Redemption yeah. talks about the game the whole yes the whole the game <laughs> the entire talks it talks about John Marston and how basically he um he's on his own now and he's you know in the middle of nowhere mm-hmm. um, this game is talking about. And he's also – he's coming to terms with the fact that the law is getting smarter and the law is getting different. And then um, the second one is a prequel, and it talks about how the Dutch fan and the gang is basically splitting up and how they're this big, you know, big gang that everyone feared. And now they're on the run constantly. But I want a, a um, DLC about how they rose to be and how everyone, you know, came to each other and, yeah. like, you know – because I because this is – a I mean, it's a great idea, but – um. It's exploring simply like it's exploring um, their death rather than you know their beginning or how just even like the middle. I think that would be really cool to show that because then that could because Dutch Vandalin seems old, so that could even go maybe into the eighteen sixties, seventies. I might seem and... really uh, casual, but when it comes to Red Dead Redemption Two DLC, I really just want Red Dead. On. Undead Nightmare too. Oh yeah, <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie. Like think about mm-hmm. that with today's graphics. It doesn't even have to oh, look that great, so but fun. it would just be pretty funny. I think. Um, just another spin-off what if story. That's the thing though. Is Red Dead Redemption. Um, I can't recall really the DLC being anything crazy phenomenal aside from that entire. It could be its own game. It's Undead Nightmare. Um, yeah, Under Nightmare, because um, that was back when um, what Rockstar's idea of a DLC was, uh, which I still, I'm, I really wish they still had this kind of idea, yeah. was they did this for GTA 4 as well, was if it's a DLC, it has to have a whole other story. Oh, yeah. Which is why they had they had the, the, the um, Liberty, Liberty City stories, you know, mm-hmm. the complete thing with Johnny Clevitz and what was his, Louise, I forget his last name, but Louise... Um, probably like Rodriguez or something, and then Nico Bell, like all three of those. Um, one was base game, and Johnny and Louis, there were um DLC, and then London Nightmare was its own, basically its own campaign, its own idea, its own plot, and that was a DLC, you know. And I really want a DLC like that. Hopefully, when I'm talking about how Dutch Vandalin came to be, or how the gang came to be, and how they grew, and London Nightmare would be really fun, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it wouldn't really come you know it would butt heads with the first one because the first one the idea is no one knows why this thing is happening they know it's happening and then they figure out it was the artifact that was stolen um so they put it back so 
this is a prequel, so that means that if it happened in this one, then they would probably word would get round, you know, and they'd be like, "Hey, if this happens, just bring this artifact back." Um, and I, yeah. I doubt that the Red Dead Redemption, the first one, that that map is like, it's in the it's in the game, but I doubt there's gonna be much emphasis on it. Yeah, I think it, it wouldn't be like the entirety of the map. It'd probably be more focused on this new map. Um, I don't know though. So, there's so many different biomes. There's a swampland. There's a mountainous, snowy area. There's the Great Plains. Obviously, there's desert. Mm-hmm. And it's basically um, every, like, when you think of the Wild West, it's like, oh, my God, this is every Wild West thing you can think of, you know? Um, but in terms, I think the campaign is going to be good. The campaign, um, I'm glad it follows a different guy because we have heard a lot about them, but we haven't actually seen what they did. Mm-hmm. And now we actually get to see what they did. Um, we get to see characters we didn't know existed um, that were in the Dutch Vandalin gang. Um, people were thinking, do you remember Landon Rick hits Bolt? Uh, a little bit. That was, do you remember it was the guy that like, he was the old dude in Mexico. Yeah. 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 And he was yeah. the gunslinger who ran away. Yeah. And pretended to die. Um, I don't think he's going to be in is there. because he's, he's I'm pretty sure. I hope. I hope Mexico. That's the thing. Is I've heard a lot of people say yeah, and some people say no. And then I've seen some gameplay, but nothing that I in see Mexico. showed that, in Mexico. Yeah. So I want it. I really wish. I really hope it's like there's a Mexico scene. Or just like nice. just like a little area that's little open thing, little because thing it wasn't it. really. It was big in um Mexico. Yeah, no Mexico, Mexico, but it wasn't like huge. You know, Mexico and America and, were basically the same size. Yeah. It was, or like they were like America's, one was a little, was but they were bigger, like, but it was in terms of um, when you cross that little lake, you were in Mexico, you know. Yeah, I wasn't gonna call it a lake, but yeah, it was the river. It was really fun. Um, like the like great, the mission yeah. to how you get there, that was a lot of fun. That was you, too. You go with the drunk Irishman. What was yeah. his name? Um, I can't remember. Do you I think remember, that they're I, not gonna worry about DLC for this game, kind of like with GTA? Because remember in GTA Five, it was like, oh, we're gonna have DLC. No GTA DLC. 5, it's G- GTA the DLC, Online. So the DLC devolved. I really don't like how the DLC is done. At first, it went the first couple of years. I don't know if you remember this G- GTA Five. It was okay because basically whatever you got in online, you could get for free in campaign. You could yeah. go to one of your your garages, hit right on the D pad, and bam, it's right there. You can get it. But when they started adding newer, newer shit, they were just like, no, it's only online. And I'm like, why? Because I want to do this shit, but I don't want to give, I do not want to, you know, mm-hmm. give, like, spend money on microtransactions. Um, do you think they'll pay more attention to Red Dead Online than even GTA DLC Online? Online? Or Red Dead Online. I th- That's maybe. what I'm calling it, no. but like, it... I don't know. I th- I think so. It would maybe. be good. It probably will be called Red Dead Online. Honestly, it is. Red, it's probably Red Dead. Red Dead Online, Redemption but... Online is a little wordy. I think just keep it Red Dead Online. Um, yeah. Just like or... GTA Online. So. Which was it was um, GTA Online? Like people think, oh, it was bad. I mean, it was r- at the time. It was a really cool it's a idea. Lot of, it's one of those things. Um, not to switch tracks to another game that's coming out soon. But uh, it's like with Fallout 76, more fun with friends. You know, you're not going to be playing yeah. an online game like that alone. GTA Online alone, you're not going to have really any fun was, at all. Like It, was, it wasn't stuff, fun. But... It was dangerous as fuck because you die instantaneously. Yeah, but um, I think if you've, I don't know, have you ever played um, Red Dead Redemption 1 online? Yeah, I have, and okay. how it's only, so, um, it's only, it's basically GTA 4. This was during my heyday of gaming clans, and um, it kind of sounds weird to say that was my heyday of gaming clans, but here we are with ISR as a community. Um, yeah. That was when people took it very seriously. Let's put it, when I took it very seriously, I should say. Um, but of course, I was like 12 or 13, 14, whatever, and uh, we had a big gang, a bunch of people, a bunch of friends, and it was literally like the wild wild west and your buddies were gang members of a wild west gang and i think red dead redemption one online was so much fun so perfect in terms of the missions unlocking stuff uh i don't i can't remember any praise on character customization but probably a little bit there was um, there was a little modes. bit i know there was a little bit i know that red dead online 2 
I don't know, I shouldn't say Red Dead Redemption 2 online, but just Red Dead Online, they're going to kill it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, um... I think there's very few ways they can mess it up. And they're already seeing, like, what was the one thing that everybody and their mother wanted from the base of GTA, even in the single player, that we didn't get enough of? It was the heist. It was the heist. And then they and added then the heist. They added there it. was one issue. Well, they added it was one issue much, much later online. Yeah, they added much, much later. There was there was two issues. First of all, it was way fucking later. Some people, the people who originally were like, I want heist, were gone. Yeah. But the other issue was, the reason people wanted a heist was because when you did one of those missions, those shitty, you know, missions, you got no money. So you had, you were living in the most bare bones and basic, you know, apartment. But in order to do any of these heists, you need to spend a fuck ton of money. I mean, for, compared to, you know... How much, you know, like if you didn't spend any money on Lego transactions, mm -hmm. it was a fuck ton of money. It was a lot of work. You get there and you do it. And not only that, it was it was really stupid the way they did some 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 stuff. How you have to have like four people. Yeah, yeah you had like, to have four people for that. Like, um, they, they definitely were a lot of fun. The they heist kind of screwed money. things up though, because you had to have four people who you could trust. Because then you'll restart the whole yeah, thing which... over again. You had to invest money into the heist, which is understandable. But I think there's so much risk with the reward not really mattering. I mean, some stuff was like, cool, you get a, on, uh armored vehicle. Armored vehicle, but you have like to pay that. for it. I didn't you think that was cool. You to pay for it, yeah. Um, I was like, I don't want to unlock it. I want so to like, get it. It makes me wonder how they're going to do that with Red Dead Online. Like, I know there's a lot of things that they'll do that'll be really cool. I... I don't know, I'm kind of worried for it a little bit when it comes to... I hope they don't make a microtransaction festival like in GTA Online it is now. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm sure there will be some things, but I'm sure... I don't even know how they'd implement that, too. Like, at least with GTA Online, they're like, it's modern, we just invested in a business and the big business update yeah. and all that. It's the weird that it's like, what do you do, investing in the... The, the the California gold mine. Like, what yeah, are you doing? Like, the other the other issue was um the other issue is like when uh GTA Online the reason there was so much shit was because it was modern and it was a completely different timeline than today. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm pretty confident in saying that Red Dead Redemption Two does not have a lot of room to stretch their legs in terms of well what can we add that, that mm -hmm. isn't there? There's not a lot. I mean maybe a carriage a horse drawn carriage with mm -hmm. um. You know, like a Gatling gun, but that's different than something like, I don't know, like a fucking in like, um, a uh, like a fucking bulletproof insurgent that is like, yeah, yeah, show you that because like you just shoot they've already confirmed microtransaction saddles. Why are you why are you screaming, Gonk? Am I screaming? Sorry, I didn't mean Gonk in high voice. Yeah. Inside. I'm him inside. He's so he was so angry. He, I'm in my I, car. I saw his thing like popping off. He's in his horse and buggy right now. He's came all the way from Blackwater, Mister Gonk. He looks like Seth Rogen in the '90s. How are you doing, my friend? Hell yeah, dude. Hi, how you doing? Oh, um, you see, uh, in my typical Seth Rogen fashion, I'm sure you can understand. I am under the influence of certain substance tonight. So, but uh, yes, we didn't have Osiris to rant, but we got Gonk. Next best thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. It's just it's so much as... more interesting. <laughs> think of it as uh, think of Osiris as your normal uncle, and then I'm the super crazy but amazingly fun uncle. But you're not my uncle, so how would this work? No, no, I'm talking about as to uh, Viv, Viv, not Viv, uh, to Bolton Goof. Viv, you are my daughter, and by the way, you have a brother now. Ferris is now your brother. I adopt but isn't George also my brother because George is my actual brother? No, no, brother. no, no. George is your biological brother, but Ferris is your adopted brother. <laughs> okay. All right, so tell me this, Gonk. All right. When Red Dead Online eventually drops which what is it i i've heard rumors of like a three month time span three or four months oh no so. it's gonna be it's gonna be anywhere from two months to no not two months two weeks to a month at last that's just no from way. a business perspective no way because that, be that's what they did with gta it wasn't two weeks three for weeks? gta online no, it was like two weeks for gta let me look that up. there's no way that's great i, I no, just no, felt like I it was remember. a lot longer i don't know 
No, it was because everyone wanted it, and it was such a big surprise. So everyone, it, the the wait felt longer. But no, it was only like two, maybe three weeks. And I feel like they should continue that trend, but throw it off the game. So, like I said, anywhere from two weeks to a month, and a month is four weeks. So, like either two, three, or four weeks. You got. Now I won't be playing Red Dead Online really at all because I have I'll be playing on PS4. Um, and then I'll be transferring to PC whenever it comes out. Eventually, probably within the next year, oh, no. basically. No, I'm telling you right um, now, Red Dead Redemption um, 2 is definitely not coming out to PC. It's going to come out to PC. Well, yeah, yeah it's, it's not. Okay. No, okay. God. That's, no, that's, what the, that's God. the issue was, was when God. GTA 5, 5 released. <laughs> I remember GTA 5 released, and it was only Xbox 360 and PS3. I was like, what the fuck? A year later, no, no, they're like, no, no. oh, yeah, let by the way. Explain, it's like let me explain. What you're talking about is... Uh, because the console thing, they were going to add new features into the uh, next gen console, and so PC came out with that as well. However, uh, with Red Dead Redemption, it never came to PC, and there it ha- there's a history of all the Red Dead games, even Red Dead Revolver, never going to PC. Well, there's only two so, Red Dead games. Well, yes, but still, two is all it takes to at least start a trend. And yeah, I'm telling you. This one, I don't know if it'd be too smart of them to restrict it, but they they didn't it didn't come out for PC. But um, don't. I don't know. Red, they they're gonna, they might have to. They're gonna, gonna have a lot to. Of money. And what is yeah. Rockstar? Oh yeah, you what is Rockstar is? love? You tell me money. You tell me how many of those? Uh, what I don't even know what they're called. What are the GTA? The shark, shark cards. Shark cards. Okay, we got the shark cards with GTA Online. Red Dead. Well, you see. Get, uh, oh. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna think bags uh, of gold. gold. Gold nuggets, yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> gold yeah nuggets, there uh, you go. Gold yeah, nuggets. Yeah, yeah. You go to GameStop. You'll be like, I want a bag of gold nuggets, and they'll hand you a little twenty-five dollar gift card. You get a bunch of gold nuggets in the game. Oh, and Arthur, dude, uh, that'd Arthur be so throws, cute. Just throws them in the air and gets you know really happy. It'll be like yeah. Legend of Zelda with the little amiibos. <laughs> you put you put I the love it. you put I love the. It. Uh, uh, you put the gold nugget that GameStop gives you on top of your PS4 motion controller. It detects it. Yeah. And boom! It just puts it in the game. <laughs> Dude, uh, that's amazing. Yeah. But um, yeah, anyway, it'll, it'll that's PC. actually yeah, yeah, they like money. Huh, a little more of that. Yeah. A little more of that. Okay, your thing. Your thing. Uh huh. Your your thing. What you were saying? No, I was just saying like, Rockstar has evolved. Like, without a doubt, most game companies have evolved. EA is a big one. Bethesda's doing it now, too, which is murky water. Rockstar's already Rock. done it. So, like, you see that... But it's not Rockstar like doing it, too. So, you know, I think Rockstar likes money. They love the shark cards and all that. Even though people near the end of GTA V, especially on PC, really started turning on them because of how they felt with mods. Um, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2. There's just so, there's so much money there. Like between a shark card ripoff and putting it on pc and it's just it would make no sense not to put it on pc especially with today's gaming era of how many games do we get that are really console exclusive like what sony stuff like spider-man or last of us that people you know will beat and then won't touch ever again at least with theirs, they take it directly like, Xbox really doesn't have exclusives because, like, Gears of War, Halo, stuff like that immediately get on PC, like, the day of, or, like, Forza, stuff like that. So, I don't even know how many, like, console exclusive, but not to one console, just the consoles even exist anymore. Like, I can't even think Yeah, they do, they do. Many. Yeah, but to the size of Red Dead Redemption 2. Like GTA, you know, was and then I come to console. Or, that's the uh, thing. PC. Yeah, it's the uh that there, so you know you could co- go with the idea that we're at a redemption to come out for PC, but the issue is this might be a completely different thing because I don't know if y'all have noticed, but Rockstar in terms of how proud they are of this game, they are really fucking confident that this game. They're like this game is our best yet. That they have 265 million dollars put into advertising alone. That's as much as was put into GTA 5. And everyone remembers GTA 5 oh came out. That was all Rockstar was talking about. And that was well, just we made this game. 360 and that PS3. Was, when that thing yeah. went to next gen consoles, it went through the roof, dude. Everyone, and then everyone PC was, through the roof. Like 
look, I don't not know only that, I have the stats on it, but I am pretty confident it is probably still the number one most advertised game and the number one most um, bought game ever. I'm, I'm looking yeah, at like it. Highest I, grossing. I think it is the highest grossing. Highest but the other thing was that they're Let's really see. confident they spent all this money in advertising. Um, it, and I'm pr- people don't know how much that was spent into Red Dead Redemption 2, but they're like, it's probably more than GTA 5. And uh, critics are even agreeing with them that this is a really good game. Um, Metacritic gave them a 97. Uh, what was the other? Um, IGN gave them a 10 out of 10, but that's like, that's like that doesn't really matter because it's IGN. So but, I was wrong. It's actually the third. Number one is Tetris at 170 million, um, which, okay, to get into number perspective, um, Wii Sports is, our, um, is number two. Tetris isn't that expensive of a game, given it's 170 million versions of it. But if it's 170 million versions of a one dollar, five dollar, ten dollar game, it's not that much. Minecraft comes in at number two with 154 million. Minecraft's also like a twenty to thirty dollar game. GTA Five, forever was sixty dollars. Game comes out in 2013. It's not until like two years ago that you'll find it for thirty bucks. You know, or forty, fifty, like and that, sixty dollars consistently. People, Ninety-five. People were million. still buying it. People were still buying it for that high price. Yeah. And but hi guys, it was nice being with you. Uh, I'm gonna go back inside and watch YouTube probably, right. and relax and have a nice right. night. Be careful. Right? I am. All right, have a good one. Bye, boy. All right, as you were saying, goof. So they were really fucking proud of this game. This game, um, people. IGN has called it a, a masterpiece. I don't know if you looked on the Rockstar yeah. on their Instagram, but they have here. I'll I'll look at it right there's, now. I've critics everywhere. They, I mean, it's no doubt. It's not, I like Fallout. I, I'm biased towards Fallout, but I will still say and admit, Red Dead Redemption Two, single player. Well, the single player is not a question. There's there's none in seventy six as a multiplayer. You, you you'd be a fool to play it single player. I'm just gonna be honest. Um, single player is is already like the greatest of this year. Spider Man's pretty good, but Red Dead Redemption Two I think will have that okay. longevity. Whereas so, when you yeah. go with Spider Man, you're, you're this done. is what they posted. So on it's gonna so, get the um, no. Basically, Red Dead Redemption uh, Rockstar released. Uh, they was was it called an NDA? I can't remember the thing now. Yeah, the non disclosure act where basically, like, I think the, non- the NDA ended it, like, mm, lunchtime. So, the N- no, the NDA for Red Dead Redemption 2, I think it, I think it literally uh, was was pulled out, and they're like, you can say anything about it, was literally yanked away today. Yeah. And yeah, like, oh, here, here are the reviews IGN, 10 out of 10, Masterpiece. Uh, the Guardian, 5 out of 5. Gripping Western is a near mirror. Um, Game Informer, 10. The Telegraph Five, Red Dead Redemption Two review a seismic achievement. Um, you know, Game Reactor UK. It's time to saddle up, head west for Rockstar's latest epic adventure. Unrivaled immersion, fantastic gunplay, expansive open world, beautiful animations, and worthwhile distractions. Um, Hollywood Reporter gave it a great review. GQ, a generation defying release, defining release. These guys. This is coming from Rockstar. Rockstar pays. They've they've been they've really been caught paying reviewers and critics to give them negative reviews because of the controversial shit that they put. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember the um the really controversial torture scene from GTA Five? I didn't think it was that bad, and like it was it wasn't that bad. I don't know. Maybe Rockstar I loves so many the publicity. Games, but Rockstar has this this reputation of getting publicity from just being so fucked up. Manhunt was is literally banned in like multiple different countries because it's so fucking controversial san andreas was almost rated a because they used to have a whole mini game to, to have sex with gta 5 on. yeah <laughs> what goes on? G- <laughs> gta 5 was a whole nother story there everyone was like this is like you can do all this shit and it's so realistic, it's so realistic. these guys but they people are i um i i think i agree i i mean i think i can make everyone agree GTA um Rockstar has always had this thing for every game they come out um it's just it's an open world game and it's great. I mean name one bad Rockstar game that's you know one bad open world Rockstar game. Red Dead Redemption amazing. GTA 5 amazing. GTA 4 amazing. You know you may agree oh GTA 5 was bad because of the you know whatever. 
you know, the, the story wasn't great. But we're talking about um, the story for GTA for Redemption 2. I feel like the story's gonna be great. Um, but the story they made an Austin pa- Austin Powers video games. The, the gameplay, <laughs> the gameplay yeah, for, well um, for GTA 5 was was so different. Um, it changed everyone's view of it. Instead of just focusing on one guy, it was this fast open world with three different protagonists. You know, they all had their different jobs, and everyone was like, they you switch them, they'd be doing something. You know, and it was um, Rockstar, kind of in a way, uh, sets the bar sometimes. Um, and I feel like Red Dead Redemption is not going to be an exception. I'm so fucking hyped for this game. I've been hyped for this game. I loved, I loved Red Dead Redemption. Um, if there was a game, if I was like, if someone's like, hey, if you could erase your memory to play replay one game, it would be totally be Red Dead Redemption. You know what's? There's nothing cooler than being in Mexico. You know, than riding a horse in Mexico, jumping onto a train and stopping it. You know, yeah, or yeah. riding in Mexico and stopping banditos from robbing a train. You know, with the Mexican army. That like that's so. How many days do, of the week do you get to say you did that? Um, and you know, uh, the engine I, I think is based off Euphoria, which one of the reasons I didn't like GTA Five as much as like GTA Four was the engine. I didn't like GTA Five's engine because it was it felt it did, it felt really artificial. Everything. Everything felt so when you know, like the cars, they wouldn't really get destroyed and everything. Um, if you remember GTA Four, which is Euphoria, and so did Red Dead Redemption. If you shot someone, their body had weight. If you ran someone over in a car in GTA Four, the hood of your car would be weighed down mm-hmm. by their body, and you would have trouble turning. Um, GTA and Red Dead Redemption, you shot someone um, in the throat, they wouldn't die. They would, you know, they would, you know, like have trouble holding their throat and like yeah. twitch and then fall on the ground. Um, and they've even recreated this. It looks great. And also, I'm a big Max, fan of the the, uh, the Max Payne. Yeah, the Max <laughs> Payne saying, three. Like when, the yeah, Max the Max Payne, Payne three final shot. I think that was that was awesome. Max Payne three had a great had great gunplay. Yeah, I wasn't um, crazy about um, the story. The multiplayer was actually pretty good story i wasn't crazy about um still good as always um i don't know maybe it's because like the the turn in it i wasn't too crazy about um can we just talk about how like there's not many games that come out where it's like it's such a it's a smart game like yeah red dead redemption 2 from everything i've seen is like it's a smart game from gameplay to mechan like the big can just talk about mechanics for a little bit you literally your hair grows yeah, you, your, yeah. Your, so your, your, you your beard You can yeah, you know, I love trim that. that. You can you you you, you can you um, can take a shower or not. You can bathe or not, and that yeah, will affect everything. How people view you, and like you could, you know, I um I was watching an IGN thing on it, and they were saying that one of the mechanics in this game is that as the game progresses, you'll see like people building houses. And yeah, it's, yeah. It's that transformation is... of like the 1899 to the 1900s of like you know there was places um, being built and what someone i watched crazy someone i watched explain explain this is how it was you you're riding along um on the trail and you see the these two sons and a father building a house and you walk up to the father and you talk to him and he talks about oh my sons can't do jack shit you know <laughs> they're worthless and they're they destroy it and then the scaffolding comes down well later on in the game you're going to come back and that house is built and you know you can meet that father again. Um, and let me just talk about. I don't know if you heard about this bolt, but um, they did this thing called crunching hmm. in the video game industry, which is basically um, let me let me find the proper definition for it. Video game crunching, which is basically where is it? Um, making people hold on. Uh, where is it? That where video game industries make someone they make they don't really make them, but. It's where in the video game industry, um, the employees work like. Oh and, yeah, we talked about this. They yeah, yeah. they worked a hundred. Was it a hundred hour weeks? Yeah, hundred hours a week. A hundred fucking mm-hmm. hours a week, and it was like, and um, the CEO came out, Rockstar CEO, and he was like, it it was that much for like three weeks, and it was simply because these people were, are really passionate about their mm-hmm. work. They want to keep working at it. I think that also comes into play that. 
they're gonna people, make a lot of money. <laughs> they're gonna because these people not only they're confident yeah. that it's a good game, um, they're confident that they have a lot of they, fun. They had fun making this game. They think this game is gonna be great. And let me talk about um how we were talking about progression and like talking to people. I think the whole idea of talking to people and antagonizing and making enemies and friends is fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. Especially in a Rockstar game, I've never seen that. Like in GTA yeah. Five, you could hit like a, a button on the D pad. They never talked about it, and you go like, "What's up, man?" And then you know the person would respond. Yeah, it wasn't like talked about. It was there. Like you could be like, "Yo," and then like it'd be a fifty fifty of like you're gonna take off the police officer, and he's like racist yeah. and is gonna kill Franklin, or like you know Trevor's gonna go crazy, and the lady's gonna like call him out and run away from him, or you know whatever. But like it, it tells you now it's like antagonized greed and all that, and I, so, yeah, it's amazing. It's really cool. Um, this, yeah, and this the inter, the interaction you come. So I found that this and these numbers from reviewers who talked to, to Rockstar. This game has three hundred different animations and or three hundred thousand different animations and five hundred thousand, five hundred thousand different lines of dialogue. The way I described it was every character in that game they said had like. 80 pages uh worth of of you know of like script of um of what they would say and everything that included citizens that included just a normal dude that's walking down the street you know um another thing i saw there's different um masks and the old one that was just bandanas but i saw like different masks and shit um i mean there's been leaks out the ass everyone's there's been leaks out the ass I, should um, we just talk about how good they are when it like Rockstar is like oopsie we got a leak whereas like and they're like okay well if we really want people to see this we'll let them see it but if we really don't we'll just try to take this down really fast yeah whereas, like other game companies from games that are coming out fairly recently around this time they'll be like oh no we can't we can't let them see that and it's like well why are you having a, a stress test and you know, like, the NDA doesn't really mean anything at that point. You were going to give it away for everybody. Like, yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2, like, you had to be mom and pop store, GameStop employee who gave away a copy or some, like, weird one off story, you know? Whereas, like, they, they handled it very well. They were like, oh, yeah, we'll get everyone really hyped about uh, what was the footage we, we saw and everybody else saw in the world. The little, we went to a camp and uh, shot up some dudes and we saw the. The uh, Max Payne style um, oh, yeah. gunplay, which was really cool. Um, in Red Dead Redemption 2, you remember that trailer? Yeah, I do. It was great. Um, the, the gameplay trailer was awesome. And the fact, you know... First person, blue. I, I've heard a lot of things was, of, like, it's not that enjoyable unless you're in, like, confined places. But it just blows my mind that, you know... I heard... I but guess I heard it was they expected, also, though. Um, so. I heard from people who played it. You know how he played the, uh, the GTA V? First person was very disorientating. Yeah. They said that they brush up on that and they come. They made it way better than it already was, but um, where hold on, real life redemption through Jesus? Oh, that's bad. But uh, where is it? I don't know if you look at the if you um, look at the subreddit for Red Dead Redemption Two. Everyone is having a field day. Everyone here, here it is, right here. One hour twenty eight minutes to go. It is Pope Francis, and he's <laughs> um. I don't. It's 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 a it's a bishop, and he's he's basically breaking the you know Eucharist, and yeah. it's Red Dead Redemption too, like a diss. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, there's all these memes of people. Are, people are yeah. waiting. They're so fucking eager to play this. We're game. actually uh, we're forty minutes away from playing this game. Something interesting 40 fucking though, minutes. is that um, because it is modern day gaming, and I don't have to go to a GameStop at midnight and pick up the game and play it. Oh, yeah. I, I do have it preloaded. All oh, freaking 90-some gigabytes. Um, yeah, same. What I worry about, though, is that 12 o'clock is going to come around, even though I preloaded it, because this is going to happen probably. Um, I'm going to have to download something else, like a patch or something, <laughs> which will be so annoying. I just hope it's not a long one. I, it didn't take me long to download the 90 gigabytes, but God bless anybody else in the world. So, uh, I don't know, dude. Yeah. And um, let me just talk about uh, I don't know if you've noticed this, Bolt, but Red Dead, but Rockstar Games, the mm-hmm. company, has to be the most just. They don't care. They really don't. Um, the I think they're really fun to work for because they'd be like, all right, well, we're gonna. They, push they're the really. Limit, they like to keep it a really key. good game. <laughs> you know. They like to keep it low key. So I don't know. I've I've seen people. They interviewed them. 
so the I, so the story of Rockstar Games is um I think it was two brothers from like lo, like from England. They moved to America, New York, and then they created a game company in the nineties. Um, and at first, they you know they obviously didn't talk to anyone a lot. They kind of just you know existed. That's how Rockstar is now. They don't have E three booths. I know that. That's been one thing. They don't have a booth at E three, even though they could totally afford a big ass booth and everyone would go. Yeah. They just don't have one. They don't think there's a need for one. They love to keep their shit so fucking secret. It pisses me off. But <laughs> they won't tell you. They won't tell you squat. They won't tell you anything about a game. They're just like, yeah, it's coming out, and then just leave all everyone else to try to leak shit. And then um, it was. It's just I don't. They just do not like media attention is not for them. But at the same time, it is because they they you know they pay people. Um, to basically give them bad reviews, but they're they're gonna be they're really confident in this game. This is both this is um like how you know how GTA five was everyone's hyped over this shit. Yeah, yeah. This is second GTA five. The well, hype yeah. the, like, the the hype is the... this is they are so proud of this game. They're like this is gonna be GTA five. I will this say that easy. unlike with GTA five I don't remember. At least my memory doesn't, because it's been five years, bro. I'm gonna, admit, I'm gonna admit, like, I, yeah. you know, where, where, where was I five years ago? I was your age, pretty much, you know, uh, younger. Um, but freaking, I don't remember there being like a delay for GTA Five at least five years ago. There was a delay for there, Red Dead Redemption Two, and there, I think it no, did hurt was, me a little bit because I was like, there oh, was shoot, a delay for you know, GTA Five. Uh, at least I can remember from it. It wasn't as drastic. It was supposed to come out that spring, and then it came out that fall. It was really that heist, the, like the heist uh, update the that, that really. Oh yeah. No, just the heist updates in general. Like, first it was all right. Well, we're gonna get multiplayer. When now it's like, we're gonna get heist. When you know so. Yeah. I think that's what hurt it more. We're Red Dead Redemption Two. You know, last year. It was like we're gonna get this game, and it's like, nah. <laughs> and I, yeah, it's it, like, no. it, it was it was a good thing, you know, because now we're we're seeing like, you know, this is really like finalized and more That's put into thing. it. Like it's... that extra year really helped. Like they didn't waste it. Um, yeah, that's that the thing is that with games though. Yeah, that proves that they um looked at this game, and I'm sure like a year ago it was still a good game. But yeah. they were like, no, it's not good enough. I think I think we can do better. And I think that that that's I think that's great that they did that. They looked at it and were like, no, this is we don't have enough time. We can't release it this year. We can't wait a whole another fucking year. We have to work on it. It has to be a good game. And I think that's great because if there were any other like AAA, um, like I think Battlefield Four was utter dog shit in the beginning. It was buggy as all hell. You know, the servers were down and everything. Um. Uh, but then they fixed it over time. But but you know, Red Dead Redemption is. It seems like they're gonna release it, and it's gonna be how they want it to be when it releases. You know, mm-hmm. they're gonna um, they're gonna. And the thing is, multiplayer is coming out because they want to focus on that as well. Because they still don't think there's they have enough time to focus on that, and they also need the servers and everything. I think that's great. Um, but this is definitely gonna be another GTA Five. You know, people are still gonna make videos on this game five years from now. You know. Oh yeah. They're they're gonna be like, you just play Red, just play Red Redemption Two, and it's still gonna be a fucking amazing game because. Oh yeah, because um, look at the last time we got a Red Dead game. Like, what was that? Eight, ten years ten ago. Years ten ago? fucking years ago. Dude. Like. Or no, eight years ago. Why does it ten? Eight I, years ago. I keep on thinking it was ten years ago. It was eight years ago because it says right here. GTA Four was ten years um, ago. Yeah. But like. Dang, dude, think about that. Like, even then, eight years ago, like, I was barely figuring out what life was. I was barely alive, <laughs> like, honestly. Yeah. So, like, shoot, dude, like, you know, I'm a prime generation, of, or a prime generation, I'm a prime reason of, like, you know, letting your kid play these uh, rock star games at a young age that, hey, I didn't turn out pretty bad, you know, turned out pretty good. Um, you know, now I freaking love rockstar games and i'm like they're great you know yeah they've, they've always been i mean they make all even these at, even games. at like a young age playing gta 3 and uh liberty uh liberty city well liberty city uh vice city so i would say yeah. um 
I wasn't crazy about San Andreas. That's the thing is like where people were like, oh, I liked Ellie Noir, San Andreas. I wasn't crazy about them. Um, my probably low key favorite Rockstar game, um, four was good, five was fantastic. Um, but I really liked Vice City. If they could redo Vice City, I oh, yeah. I would fall in love with it. I think it'd be great. Um, I liked four. That I liked the physics engine. The time four. period that you know feel you know. Nothing like hearing uh, Michael Jackson on the radio and you're yeah. in your car going down Miami. It's in the 80s. Or whatever. It's in the Toto. But, to- um, yeah, oh, that was... <laughs> yeah. Video uh, killed the radio star. Yeah. Yeah. It's great, man. But I think about how much money they saved good. too on Red Dead. Like, yeah. They must, love, they must love Red Dead. Oh, because yeah, cause the copyright cause, laws were made yet. Yeah, that's a funny thing. Well, not even that. Like, they just don't need music. Like, you just, you're a cowboy. Like they can probably and, have, like, you know, they probably have, like, fucking, like, Confederate, like, marching, but that's it. Yeah. Like, they don't there's have like, any radios. There's, like, nothing for this, probably. Um, that's the thing. With GTA Five. they're like, all right, we need all the music, all the best music. Yeah. I, if I don't Let's hear... Let's add some more later on. If I don't hear, uh, what is it, East Coast Girls or whatever... Uh, oh yeah, East Coast girl. Oh, I don't even it. know what's going. On. If we don't hear that on the radio, we ain't paying for the license. You know, like yeah, they they go all out. You know, actually, a lot of um, like my favorite songs I discovered through GTA Five. I was like, oh, West End cool Girls. Never heard of not that one, but um, it's on my playlist. Uh, Sleepwalking. Like most, oh, yeah. most are like the the trailer songs they used, and I really appreciate that when games like use a trailer song and they put it in the game. That's a that's a that's a big shot. It's it's certain games WWE where you'll you'll get the game and you'll be like that trailer you had the trailer song that you paid the rights for, for the game for the trailer of the video game that you didn't put in the game. Like I really wish you put it in the game. You know GTA does that. I don't think there's a single song that they're like. We're gonna use this song, but it's not gonna be in the game. Now I don't know yeah. about Red Dead because, like I said, it's a perfect theory. Set the game before time Dude, without thing, radios in your car. I'm so mad. You I'm mad is that licensing. I'm mad that the trailer didn't have uh, "Dead or Alive" by uh, Bon Jovi. Or <laughs> but, no, they um, just had the in Red Dead Redemption Two. You know, this is very. Yeah. Uh, but that's it. Hey, but Viv, here's... you there? Viv? What? Hi. Can, can, can I fell you, asleep. Can you say in Red Dead Redemption 2? In Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you. In the wild. You're good. You go back to sleep. Okay. Good night. night. In the wild. Right. <laughs> but speaking of the, the trailers. World, you can fish. Yeah. But speaking of the trailers. Yeah. Um, those two trailers. Not There was two things to me. Two that were, trailers. That were, Think about that. Yeah. Two trailers. Two trailers. And they there, were, there, were actual, there were actual trailers, but the thing that were great about these is, you know, they're great to show all this shit, mm-hmm. but that was gameplay. Yeah. All that shit was gameplay and cutscene. That was the graphics. That's how it looks. That's what you can do. Exactly. Like, when they throw him out of the window, that's not, like, in-game engine footage. That is gameplay footage. I love how they don't they don't have, um you know... uh. You know how every everything will put they'll, they'll show a trailer and it makes it look like this gameplay, but it says in engine footage. You yeah, know, they put they literally said in the beginning this is all recorded in gameplay, and they showed it in the way that they threw him out of the, the building and he landed on his ass and his ass was covered in mud. I was like, oh my god, did you just do that? Like you can do that. This is good. This is great. I saw footage. Um, this is this is gonna break your heart a little bit, but I saw footage. Um... Where, uh, Arthur Morgan—that's his name. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's gonna be—it's gonna be while, it's gonna take a while to uh, remember that name compared to John Marston. Um, John Marston, such a like, such like a, that like name. Is it, it like you, that you know? when you say when I walk up to someone and they go like, "Who are you?" I go, "I'm John Marston." It's like holy shit, that's, that's kind of scary. Like, yeah, well, you know, Arthur Morgan. I don't know. I think maybe Arthur Morgan will have more power behind it compared to John Marston come the end, but. I think John just so much more memorable. I don't know. Maybe just he is because he was but, he was uh, the first, you know he was the physical um, incarnation. He was like when I thought of an outlaw, I thought of him because he just didn't. He had a family and everything. He did not give a shit. He's, but, he wanted. Um, he did wanted. everything. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Saw, big iron. Big iron. Big iron. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> I saw Arthur Morgan um, like go throughout the town on his horse, 
and uh, oh, yeah. one of the guys from the footage um, stops and he like sees a dog just like rolling around in the mud, getting dirtier and dirtier. Yeah. And it was actually like getting dirtier and just the mud all over it. And then like the dude goes up and pets it and he gets dirt on his glove. And I'm like, what? like wait a minute, we need to back you up. Do that? We need to back up a little bit, you know, <laughs> like, like we. We've hit the next milestone in gaming when I can go. Yeah, like, the dog can get I think... you know just playful and wet and muddy, and then I can you know high five the dog or whatever, and then boom, instantly I'm all muddy too, just like the dog. Like it is that level. Of How would high fiving a dog work? Dogs can't yeah, physically can high five. Have you never high fived a dog? He gives you his paw. No, okay, you know? they they can like lift up their paw and you can like touch their yeah. hand to your paw but that's no. not exactly high-fiving no that's i've, like, I've, I've high-fived that's... a dog he, he, while he like actually like gutted you, it you, out your dogs just aren't smart enough i'm sorry my dogs can open and close doors okay my dogs on the floor but um <laughs> i want to so you're talking about seat. okay kitty She's but, like, I'm not having this. <laughs> but you talked about how um they're, they're like this is crazy I can safely say that Rockstar has done this, has had this like, um, like trend where they revolutionize open world games. You know, like in a game like, um, like in a game that's linear, where it's it's all based off of you know, it it just it keeps going and there's all these missions. Having something like that where you touch like dirt and it gets dirt on you isn't as great as an open world game. Where there's all the all this different possibility of getting this on you, you know what I mean? I don't, dude. I don't know. I, this this game's gonna be pretty good. I'm excited yeah, for it. Yeah. You know, like twenty six. You, you know how you have those feelings where certain games are like eh, this could be pretty good, and you're like, yeah, this might be. Yeah, like it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be, you know, eh, like yeah. Fallout seventy six. It's like this this can either be a flop or you know this great. Be, this game's gonna be, this game's gonna be great. Fallout 76, its saving grace will be your friends. If you have friends that will be devoted to it, you're going to have a great time. If you don't yeah, have any, if you were player one, you will not have a good time. People said, oh, yeah, you will. No, you won't. I'll be completely honest with you. Because even though you can turn off PvP and all this after a while, you still want to have that sense of meeting that other person. And then there, yeah. you're not player one. You're player one and two. You want to either get indoctrinated or assimilated to this group or whatever. I know there's a big meme where, like, ISR is going to become this ever-expanding group of, like, even though only allowed to be four people, we're going to just have the entire server to ourselves by then. Like, I think Red Dead Redemption 2 will be that close-knit group of friends that Fallout 76 wants because Fallout 76... I think it'll expand and you'll kind of be all there together. But Red Dead Redemption 2, I think it'll be literally like, this is my group of cowboys and cowgirls and we're going to rob the train. And then another group comes on the same train and you're like, this is our train to rob. And, and then soon enough, you're having a shootout on the train. Like, I could just see that happen. It'd be pretty cool. So yeah, the, the Get the off train. my train. Get off my train. The, Throw Granny off the, the train. train. Missions. The train missions were, are going to be great because I would like, in Red Redemption, I would... You know, like pretend to rob a train, but now that you can actually do that, <laughs> like that's crazy. That's gonna be so much fucking fun. Um, and I don't know if you saw, but uh, when you get arrested, there's a chance that you get broke, broken out, and there's this whole like um, breakout scene, and I think that's awesome. They added that. Um, mm -hmm. Dude, I am, I'm so fucking ready for this shit. Like, honestly, dude. so fucking well that's gonna do it here for us guys on regulator talk we got 24 minutes it gives us enough time to relax and uh get into the grind of the game any last words uh i'm fucking excited for this game this <laughs> game tomorrow you guys will hear uh when this releases <laughs> <laughs> you know you'll see but i'm so i'm so high we're we're staying right now we're staying up to play it mm -hmm. right when it drops so my last word is goof's adorable fangirling over red dead redemption 2 is really cute all right everybody peace out